ready to get this one started. And we are underway here on EA Sports. This fielded right at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And not much doing there. Maybe a yard up to the 23. Well, give them credit for trying, but there's no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stop the run and then execute it. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. It'll go as a gain of four. And it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. To throw is Murray. Uncorks one for Davis. And that's caught inside the 30. And into the end zone. Touchdown. Pittsburgh. Gabriel Davis, 72 yards. And the Steelers need just three plays to go down and take the early lead. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and it's now a 7 0 game. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. Now Allen. This one caught by Davis. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. To the air, Allen. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. And that's caught at the 25. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. No part, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Flushed out right. Allen hit. He lost the football. And that play just looked a little helter-skelter from the start. That's the risk as a quarterback. Once you take off with that football, you might fumble it, and he did. And he was going for the reward, which is gaining yardage, breaking down the defense. But you're right about the risk. Always lurking out there. Someone always trying to get to the football. Try to find a place to cover up and slide and protect what you've earned. Tackle made by Grover Stewart. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Throwing now is Murray. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Murray now. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And now a whistle and a timeout called by the kicking team. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. They're going for it. It's Murray. Uncorks one for Davis. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. Allen now on first down. Alave holds it in. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. That'll give him eight that time. And it'll be second in a couple. Yeah. 
Allen now looks to throw. Throw right side, caught by Davis. And the Titans are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Throwing now is Allen. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down just inside the five-yard line. From back at the four, here's second and goal. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Mark Andrews from four yards out. And the Titans are an extra point away from evening this one up. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. As this offense gets ready here for this drive, Charles, you, you still wonder about that prior drive. Went for it on fourth down in their own territory, didn't get it, and then that led to a touchdown on the other side. And I don't mind the aggressiveness. In fact, I'm usually a huge fan of it, but I just want teams to always weigh risk and reward. To me, too early in this game because the reward just wasn't big enough to go for it there in case they failed. Now the pressure back on their offense to pick themselves up, and they gave the touchdown that was just given up. On third down, Mixon. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. So that's what that elbow in my ribs was all about. You thought they were going to throw the ball as well. Absolutely. I think everybody thought they were throwing the football. Caught them off guard. Yeah, I'm telling you, when you have the courage to make that type of a play call, a lot of times you actually get rewarded. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. On second down, here's Mixon. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 44-yard line. To throw, it's Murray. Eluding the pressure right. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked off by Legereus Sneed. And the Titans are going to take possession of the football. He exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending a play is... Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 38 yards, and the Titans have taken the lead. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT, and that makes the score 14 to 7. After the field goal, here's Gonzalez to kick it off. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Now Murray. Flush to his right. 
And a big loss here as he's taken down. Well, this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Another try after the first down sack. Murray. And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. And the Titans are going to take possession of the football. So after the INT, it's Allen. Completes it to Davis. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And he gets in. Touchdown, Tennessee. Josh Allen scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Titans are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And he pushed it right. It's no good. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out. Oh, they've intercepted Murray for the third time. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. Well, I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you've thrown this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Here's Allen to throw it. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Tyreek Hill. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Titans will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Allen will try to throw for it. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And with a three-score deficit staring them in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. He finds his running back, Mixon. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. We knew he was close to the line of scrimmage, and they say he stepped over. Well, when you see him in that position, you think he's become a runner. As a DB, you start to react towards the line of scrimmage. They can often throw it over your head. On second down, here's Murray. Uncorks one for Davis. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Jair Elo makes a pick. There he goes, right side. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. I mean, at this...